It is 11.45 p.m. on New Year's Eve, and we have just arrived at the Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. <laughs> On the endless desert road between Las Vegas and Reno, you will find the lonely town of Tonopah and its crown jewel, the Clown Motel. The Ritz-Carlton it is not, but the Clown Motel offers 29 rooms and hundreds upon hundreds of clowns to welcome you after your weary desert journey. You just passing through to Vegas? Asks the kindly proprietor. No ma'am, we've driven hundreds of miles simply to pay homage to the dying art of clowning. What are you doing in the clowns? What are you reading, friends? Ah, Clowning Around, a publication as underrated as the profession itself. Stepping outside, you'll be delighted to discover your motel is conveniently located next to a hundred-year-old cemetery. Clown Motel? Cemetery. Tonopah was founded as a mining town in 1900. This doesn't look right. It's missing something. Yeah, Wild West, old-timey sepia filter. Anyway, many of the cemetery's bodies come from a tragic mine fire and the mysterious Tonopah Plague, later identified as pneumonia. We've got pneumonia, we've got consumption, wine accident, oh, oh sorry, mine accident, explosion at a mine, died at the mine when he accidentally fell from the cage while being hoisted to the surface, Sheriff Logan killed in a shootout at a saloon, and Frank, for whom in 1907, life became a burden. We'd love to stay in Bozo's bosom the whole day, but we have a ghost town to get to. Next stop, Rhyolite, Nevada, which had a gold mining boom in 1904. In three years, it went from two to 10,000 residents. Imagine here, 50 saloons, 35 gambling houses, 19 lodging houses, 16 restaurants, a post office, an opera house, a paper. There's not much to look at today. A man on the property told us that starting after the town busted in 1907, all the wood was scavenged by nearby towns. In 1922, the LA Times found only one remaining resident in Rhyolite, a 92-year-old man. The only real ghosts in Rhyolite are the ghostly sculptures of The Last Supper by Belgian artist Albert Zukowski. Happy 2015, Deathlings! May your year ahead be filled with death positivity and history and culture, but as little actual death as possible. Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home and donations from viewers like you. Ha, <laughs> ha,